Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new and welcome back if you are already a subscriber. In today's video, I am going to be talking to you about my spiritual witchy plans planner for 2024. So this is the first actual 2024 plans video. I know I've teased a lot. I've talked a lot, but this is the first actual video and there will be more to come obviously as we get deeper into the season. But I did want to go ahead and go through this because um, the planner that I'm going to use for kind of my witchy plans and the accompanying journal that I picked um, are here. All the other stuff is here except for my Kokuyo. Um, I'm using a lot of systems for last year um, and just carrying them over into 2024. But we'll talk about that in another video. So we're gonna dive into it. So first things first, I wanna talk about this beautiful planner. So Ritual Planner um, made me a brand ambassador recently and we were talking and um, it kind of came out that I'm a planner babe and that's you know kind of how this all got started and so they actually sent me this absolutely gorgeous planner um and i really didn't know what to expect and i had looked at several other planners like spiritual wise and i had ultimately decided that i wasn't going to get anything because this past year i've really kind of enjoyed tracking in a composition book notebook and I really enjoyed kind of the freeform nature of that. And then at the bottom of my planner spreads every day, I have like a very small section where I typically will track any crystals I'm carrying or tarot. I did want something a little bit more intentional, maybe something a little bit more driven with some questions, just more guidance. Um, so I had been looking at planners, but I was also really apprehensive about getting in over my head. So ultimately I wasn't going to order anything. And then when they made me a brand ambassador recently, they offered to send me this absolutely beautiful planner because they knew I was a planner, babe. So I'm super excited to go through this with you. So before we get really involved, I am going to let you know that there is going to be a URL link down below that if you click it, it will take you to the website. I'll put the product in there um, so that you know what you're looking for. And then another thing to keep in mind, there is a discount code that you can use. I did recently find out that the discount code does not work on subscription products. So just keep that in mind. That's typically what I unbox on this channel. I have two unboxings for the year left. So make sure you hit the bell notification if you wanna see what the ritual boxes for Sawin and Yule come out to be. I'm very excited for those boxes. Um, but those will come on later in the year. But there is a URL to use. There is, which I would please encourage you to use that because it does actually um, show that people, that I'm marketing it, et cetera. So it helps me out and it doesn't, you know, inhibit you in any way. And then feel free to use that 15% off discount code, WONDER, all capital letters. Um, I absolutely love my discount code. I think it's so cute. Um, but without further ado, let's dive into this because I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Again, I didn't really know what to expect. I, I had looked at the planner online, obviously in my planner hunt, but I... I still didn't know what to expect and I was so excited. So you get some like bio pages, like how to use, but this thing is so chock full of stuff. So we're gonna go through it um, until it gets obviously repetitive. And I just wanna talk about some other information kind of alongside of that that I'm planning on doing. And then we'll last but not least kind of go over the really pretty journal that was stacked on top of this. And I'll show you that really quick. Um, so you're going to get a personal birth chart, which there's many different ways that you can do this. Um, I would recommend the Channing app for that. Um, I think you do have to pay. I've also used CoStar. Um, there's a couple different things, but then you have, um, you have your birth chart up here. You have a wheel of the year, um, all the moon phases. And then I love that this breaks it down to, as to kind of like, what to expect. I like that there is this kind of index as it were, or jump start, like, um, it's almost like a prompt, you know? So you've got new beginnings, growth, action, assessment, harvest, gratitude, release, surrender. And I feel like that just kind of helps you stay in that regenerative mindset and that wheel mindset of that you know, everything is cyclical, like it's going to keep moving and it, it helps 
prompt your journaling. It helps prompt your tarot spreads. It just helps you flow rather than pull yourself through um, or struggle with, you know, what what should I journal about? What should I pull my tarot about? Another thing is you've got these really great three card spread suggestions or tarot questions to ask the cards, which I love that they are so encouraging. Like, how can I attract more happiness? How can I love myself more? How do I really see myself? Um, what lessons are my guides trying to teach me? And then there's mind, body, spirit. There's option one, two, and three. You relationship and partner. There's lots of different options and ideas. This is one of my absolute favorite page pages in the whole planner and my jaw just like dropped. The fact that it has every single tarot card, not only that, but it shows upright in reverse. And that is so handy, especially if I'm on vacation or I've done a larger tarot spread and I do not. Like I love being on Biddy Tarot and reading the paragraph long thing, don't get me wrong, but like just for like a daily spread or something to be like, okay, what does this mean? What are my tag words? I need to do my tarot, grab some crystals and get out the door. So handy. I absolutely love this page. Next, it goes kind of into astrological things. So you're talking about planets, the houses, your signs, aspects, modes. Um, I have really gotten into that this last year. If you're looking for a good book, it is in my bag, so I don't 100% know. Um, you were born for this by Channing Nichols, which is also in conjunction with the Channing app. Sorry, I was like, I know I know it's close by. I can just go look really fast. Um, that's a really, really great book to start reading if you want to dive more into astrology and how it affects you and specifically with your non sun sign. So your rising and your moon. And it's super fun to read about others too. Um, so we've, then you can do your own personal birth chart. I would love to do this at some point during the year. The year ahead is one of my favorite pages in this as well. I have to say, I think what I'm planning on doing is tailoring this a little bit differently though. So instead of doing a year ahead, I think I'm going to do a wheel of the year spread with Sagittarian Tarot. I'm going to put her information down below. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second when I talk about the journal Sagittarian Tarot, I mean, um, because I am going to be more involved with them as well into 2024. I've been thinking about it all year and I will officially have the margin because I am trying to keep a tight, not a tight, but like a very set budget with certain things. So if I want something new, that's fine, but something's got to go. So I am not planning to continue the ritual planner subscription boxes. I'm just going to do it for this year, mainly because I run into this problem with every subscription service that I do that has product um, and not just like a journal or a notebook or, you know, Patreon or something. I've even had to quit some of those over the years, but um, I'm really trying hard to, if I'm not using that product and it's stacking up, I need to let it go and find something that serves me better while I use up the product. So I'm going to take the year off and if I find myself needing any additional product to supplement, I know what companies to order from. Um, like an example would be Magic Fairy Candles. It's where the um, Sabbath candles come from and I absolutely love them. They're one of my favorite products to get in the box. I know where to get more crystals. I have several crystal um, shopping options. So I'm completely fine. I'm going to miss it, but I also need to be fiscally responsible and I really want to spend more time with women in business and um, people who are like-minded and want to be in tune with the moon phases and working with them. And that's a lot of what um, the group that I'm going to, jo to join, sorry, I can't speak, um, which is Moon Magic Masterminds and it's hosted by Sagittarian Tarot. So I am planning to be a part of those meetings and they have meetings at the new and the full moons. Um, and clearly I'm just going to jump right into talking about that in the middle of this absolutely lovely unboxing, but we're just going to roll with the fact that I'm on a tangent. I got this journal and I absolutely love it. 
It's really simple. Literally the whole thing is the same. You've got the months and the days at the top of the air so you can circle and it's just really clean. But what I loved was this amazing, very long quote on the front of the book. You were created to do good work, work that empowers and inspires, liberates and transforms, restores and softens. Yes, work can be hard as it was meant to be. The verb itself calls us into action, rejecting passivity and demanding sustained effort. It provokes, agitates, and disturbs. But this work, the call for justice, is good work. It defends the oppressed and frees the captive. It tears down walls and destroys barriers. It changes things. So when you're feeling weary or hopeless or spent, remind yourself that the darkness is being flooded by marvelous light. Yes, this is work and it is good by Daniel Koch or Cook. Coke? Coke, probably. But, um, I was, I picked out this journal a very long time ago and it's been sitting on my shelf and I'm really struggling with finding a word for the year and I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions, but I am very much called to be with these women and, um, encourage them as they encourage me, as we all grow together, as we all help each other up the ladder. And I thought that this was such a really great quote, a really great journal and space for me to write down things from those meetings, to write down journaling and feelings with specifically like that spiritual journey, um, Sabbaths, all of the fun stuff. That's not to say that it's not going to creep into the other journals, but this journal is going to be with me when I go into these moon magic mastermind sessions. And if I have like a tarot reading with um, Renee separately, I really just wanted a place to have that journey. And I'm totally fine with it continuing beyond 2024. I think there's plenty of room for more than one year in here, but I, and I love that it's like a hard, this is from Oh Happy Danny. You can pick this up at Target. Um, they still have them. I'll try to put a link down below, but back to the planner. I am going to be doing a wheel of the year tarot reading with Renee instead of a year ahead. I would probably do this for myself maybe at some point. I'm not sure. Or I might reach out to her and see if she's open to doing the wheel of the year, this instead of wheel of the year, see what her thoughts are. Um, next, it will give you the calendar. What I love about this is that it obviously has the moon phases. It has like astrological things on it. Um, it'll tell you, you know, when the new moon is, when the full moon is, what kind it is, uh, all that good stuff. And then it gives you a space for you to kind of have like a check-in before the month gets started. So your intentions feel what you're feeling inspired by looking forward to, you need to let go of this month's priority is how I want to feel. Highlights, goals for this month. And I love this habit tracker down at the bottom because it's very small in comparison to the one that's in my Kokuyo. And I would really like to be able to have this as something that's again, more spiritual. So I would probably put, um, things like tarot, crystals, journaling, just um, things of that nature, or maybe like random act of kindness would be another one, um, that kind of thing. I like that there are spaces for lots of things like January energy, and then you get like a whole month ahead spread that you get to work through. Um, as a person that is a planner person and loves a good setup and wrap up, I think this is gonna be really great for someone like me. Then it goes into the weeks. And what I love about this is that you get a space for affirmations, you get notes, you get a tarot card for the week. Um, a lot of times I let Sagittarian Tarot because she is so awesome and she posts these like little videos and her name is Renee. Um, she posts these like videos daily and definitely weekly and going into the weekends as well, like a card for the week, like energy for the week. So I may, a lot of times, like when it comes across my feed, it resonates with me and I just run with it. So so I think that's going to be a really great place for this. One thing is that I typically only do a one card spread, but I do love that it has space for three because if I need a clarifying question or say it's T and Tarot Tuesday and I've already done mine in the morning, but then I do a poll with Renee, there's space for it. So I think that's really great. And I can just write out kind of more in depth, like, not just the card necessarily, but like if, again, if I do my morning pulls, I can do AM poll and then, uh, well, it would be on Tuesday and then do T and Tara Tuesday and then leave the last one blank if I need to. 
So every week is the same, but in the middle of this, there's this lovely space for the new moon, which I love. It just like breaks the calendar right there. So it'll give you a space for intentions, change, gratitude, how you feel, allowing, notes, a whole big beautiful spread, which I love, love new moon, full moon spreads. And often I get them from Modern Mystic or I will get them from Renee's um, prompts, which I'll also get in the Moon Magic Masterminds. Um, so I may use these, I may use both. I don't know, it'll depend. Um, sometimes I do multiple, like I think when I was on the beach trip, I did Renee's prompts and I did one from um, Modern Mystic and it was a super full moon, so it was beautiful. Um, and then it goes back into the weeks. And then you get one for the full moon, same prompts, same prompts, just a new full moon or eight full moon. Um, I also like that there's a harvest, witness, assess, align kind of thing. And on the new moon, it's new beginnings, growing light, dream, and manifest. So there's that. Then there's lots of room for notes. And then you head into the next month. And then it's wash, rinse, repeat. So you go through the weeks, you've got your new and your full moon spreads in there, which is lovely. So, and it just repeats from there. And then again, you get your notes section. So I'm gonna flip, yeah. So the last new moon ends the book and then you get lots of note page space as well so fantastic planner um like i said i looked at several um i'm really excited to use this again i love that there's so much note space really i don't need this <laughs> in supplement i just love that the quote on the front of that makes me want to move it makes me want to do the work and maybe that is my word of the year i feel like work shows up in here a lot um but i just really feel that calling to work for the things that i want to chase my dreams down and really put myself first and my goals first and that's something i have really struggled with and i feel like part of my word of the year this year was or not part of my word for this last year was develop and I really feel like I developed a lot, both mentally, both, um, I developed a garden, I developed systems. I really rooted deep in that word. And now I really feel like my, ne my word next year is active for sure. I'm not picking, I'm saying like, it's not a passive word is what I mean. I, but I, I feel that calling that it is going to be an active word, but I just don't know for sure what it is either. But, um, I am going to wrap this video up and we are going to take a little break from the unboxings. I still have a ton to go and things like that. Um, but you guys have been really loving them and I haven't gotten any complaints or anything, but, um, I do have some really cool journaling with me videos and we're going to have kind of those end of the month wrap ups for September coming too. So we're going to take a little break from that and you guys are going to get some normal content. But thank you guys for hanging on with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you end up getting one of these planners, let me know. I'm so excited um, for you. If you already know what your word of the year is, I would love to hear that as well. I'd love to hear if you're doing anything kind of in a spiritual avenue, what your um, planner plans look like for that. Has everyone picked their whole system? I have all the questions, but leave me all the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. But until then, enjoy creating your own happy, amazing, sparkly wonderlands. Bye everybody.